Good morning, afternoon, and evening. Depende sa kung anong oras kayo nakikinig. <laughs> so, I am Kat from Lighthouse, a social media campaign that aims to inform and educate families, particularly Filipino parents, about the underlying problems that lead to their kids developing negative self-body image and how we can empower all children regardless of their body type in promoting body positivity and self-confidence. Again, we are a lighthouse and we believe that empowering kids starts at home. My partner, Yen and I, have gathered bits of our interview from our partnered licensed psychometrician and let us now listen to it. So, let's start na po on our first question. Okay. Ayan. Sabi dito, How often do kids develop low levels of self-esteem due to their perception of their own body image? Okay, so, uh, kids develop high or low self-esteem as part of the developmental stage they're in. So, alam naman natin na kids undergo into um, different developmental stages, which is according to the theory of Eric Erikson, psychosocial stages. So if they are in the developmental stage of building their socialization skills and the people whom they mingle uh, give them a negative perception of their body image, then this may result to them developing low levels of self-esteem. On the other hand, if the people whom they mingle will give them a positive perception of their body image, this may result to them developing high levels of self-esteem. So environment indeed plays a role in the level of their self-esteem from their perception of their own body image. So we can say nga na because um, kids are as part of the development of kids, they of course mingle with other people. Their, their environment is very much influencing them. And so, kung ano yung mga, let's say, for example, kung ano yung mga nabibigay na perception ng kanilang environment sa kanila about their body image, then that, indeed, um, gives them or helps them develop either low or high level of self-esteem. Ayan, miss. So, base po doon sa sagot nyo, ang nakuha ko is like, Sobrang laki ng influensya ng environment towards sa development ng self-esteem ng bata. Yes. Especially sa development stage. So, ibig sabihin pa nun, miss, the more, ang, ang technically, ang nag-shape ng, kumbaga, like, ang nag-shape ng level of self-esteem ng mga bata is how their environment or like yung mga tao sa surrounding nila, like parang kung paano sila pinatrato ng mga ganong tao, parang ganon. Um, not only the environment. Mm-mm. Kasi in, in developing one's self-esteem, aside from the environment, kumbaga, ito nga yung sa, sa, um, sa, sa amin na nature versus nurture. Now, you are molding one's personality first nature. It's hereditary. So, kumbaga, is naman na. So, let's say, for example, a certain personality will be like that if the parents were like that. So, kaya siya nature. And on the other hand, it's nurture. Kasi nga, it's, it's from the environment. So, the same thing applies in the one's developing of self-esteem. So, it's not only the environment, but also, kumbaga, kung ano yung, kung ano yung namana no? ng isang bata. So, possible po ba na, like, halimbawa, mababa po ang level of self-esteem ng nanay or tatay? Like, naipapasa po yun sa anak, ganun? Yun po ba yung ibig ko sabihin uh, by... Somehow. But again, yeah. since the child is growing up, meron siyang interaction with the environment. So, kumbaga, um, though, halimbawa, sabihin na natin na nakuha niya yun from the parents, still... As he or she goes older, malaki din yung part na nag-play or ginagam pa na ng environment. Kaya, kumbaga on, on those two, mas malaki yung um, kumbaga... So 
more podcasts regarding children's self-esteem and body image, visit us at Lighthouse. LighthousePH.fb on Facebook, LighthousePH.ig on Instagram, and of course, LighthousePH.tk on TikTok. See you there!